760 million tons of plastic is produced worldwide every year. 380 million tons of these plastics are single use. 300 million tons of plastic waste is generated per year. 60 million plastic bottles are disposed of every day. 91% of plastic is not recycled and it takes thousands of years to decompose. People spend almost 90% of their time indoors and yet 77% are still unaware that indoor air can be more polluted than the air outside. An adult breathes over 2,000 gallons of air per day. 76% of Indians live in places that do not meet national air quality standards. One in eight deaths in India was attributable to air pollution in the year 2017. Anthropoids living in dense cities are similar to animals in captivity. Living in concrete boxes far from the natural habitat that evolution prepared them for. And like all animals, Living in captivity makes us disconnected from nature, which leads to a melancholy that most can't wrap their minds around. The solution to these devastating facts lies with me. The tale of my birth is one to tell, and the necessity of my life is one to share. In the guise of project story, several of my dream kin will decorate the mantle of people's privileged places. Project Suri is an initiative of an active and biased Center for Management Studies, Pune. It takes plastic bottles and coconut shells, waste that takes years to decompose, and turns them into economic yet sublime planters. These planters come with an added benefit, a green companion like me. The team at Anactus SCMS saw the growing need for better waste management. Thus, Project Zuri was devised. Project Zuri focuses on the creation of multi-dimensional impact and acts as a catalyst for fulfilling our triple bottom line aim of people, planet and prosperity. The project fulfills the three P's by reusing plastic and coconut waste, providing environmentally friendly planters and empowering the emergence of happy plant parents. Empowering a marginalized community by imparting sound business action. Creation. The primary raw materials, coconut shells and plastic bottles, will be acquired free of cost. Sambar, a South Indian restaurant in Pune, has offered to donate all its dumped coconut shells. Special bins for the collection of plastic bottles will be set up at the SCMS campus, hostels and Pune PGs. Price point. Project Zuri aims to sell its products at an approximate cost of Rs. 60, a highly affordable price point. The price was set after a thorough cost analysis, welcoming approximately 70% profits of each planter. Target market Citizens between the ages of 22 and 40 would potentially be the target market for Zuri. Pune localities, cafes, societies and fairs would be the stepping stones to detrimental sales. Sustainability the community that will be trained to take over the project will be instilled with business acumen, negotiating skills, creativity, and financial direction. By creating a name for the project through offline sales at fairs, cafes, colleges, and so forth, the planter's sales will begin growing online to spread the cost and reach. From refuse. To reuse. From litter. To something that glitters. From denied. And the question. To empower. Many barriers are yet to be overcome and a lot of hard work is yet to be done. But for Project Zuri, the journey has just begun.